Well, tonight, one of Detroit's first COVID-19 survivors is sharing his personal battle with the virus and how a lack of access to testing in the early days of the pandemic hit the city of Detroit extremely hard. Our Simon Shaykat has a closer look at the challenges remaining. It was just like a mad scramble at that time. We lost people that didn't even probably get even get a chance to get tested. For Dewan Brown, the last year has been both the most terrifying and inspiring of his life. The COVID-19 survivor recalls getting severely sick, being barely able to breathe, and calling 911 before he could even get a test. I was so afraid to fall asleep. I will fight my sleep because I was scared I would die. From March to May of 2020, he fought to regain strength and lung function, and he was alone. You had no family. You couldn't talk to nobody. Nobody could visit you. I have never in my life been that weak. His gut-wrenching story, a powerful glimpse back into the early, fear-filled months of COVID-19. We started to ramp up or bring up uh, testing supplies to get our testing started in early March. The same time Dr. Daniel Ortiz was settling into a new job at Beaumont Health. He now oversees testing for all eight Beaumont hospitals and countless urgent care centers. He says it was on March 17th. Their very first PCR test was set up and ready. You could test up to 90 patients, so we were running three times as many patients in one test run. Still, supply shortages and a lack of large-scale production from manufacturers plus CDC setbacks had a crippling effect. Your nasal pharyngeal swabs that you use, the transport containers, so the transport containers, they all have uh, liquid at the bottom. It's called viral transport media. Companies weren't able to produce enough of them to, to meet the demand that we were seeing for this type of testing. Along with supply shortages that limited testing access, Dr. Ortiz says concerns over visiting a hospital to get tested resulted in more challenges. Ultimately, drive through outdoor test sites, tireless work by nurses and lab techs, and eventually more resources fueled progress. Within the Beaumont Health System, they say one way to track just how far we've come is in the number of tests they're giving each and every single day. When they began, that number was 300, now more than 2,000. We did hire more people to work on some of these, uh, or to work specifically just with COVID. Now, more test methods and faster results are helping keep up with demand. It's remained steady with discovery of newer variants of COVID. Yet Dr. Ortiz says by no means are we out of the woods and the supply chain could still be improved. If we had unlimited test supplies from the manufacturers that we have uh that we have their platforms for, we could potentially do about 5,000 to 6,000 per day. So that's when I say there's still shortages even today. Looking ahead, he tells us an increase in available vaccines will be a game changer in reducing deadly cases. His staff also remaining the backbone of Beaumont from creating their very first test in just four days to staying strong until the end. Without them, none of this would have been possible. Words can't kind of even explain like how much um, support that they've, I mean, provided for all this testing. <laughs> Dewan, expert medical care has been a blessing, leading to a remarkable recovery, triumph over physical and mental trauma, and of course, a trip home from the hospital. A miracle, as he puts it. I didn't know until I woke up when they told me I had COVID. To know so many are giving so much of themselves to keep all of us safe. I believe we've come a long way, a long way. From Royal Oak, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.